Welcome to MBTV News for Friday, May 3rd, 2024. I'm Braden Newrider. And I'm Shane Holmes. Hey, Braden, did you know there's only 14 days left to school? I didn't, that's crazy. Yeah, and it's also beginning to start warming up out there, too. It's very exciting. So if you want something fun to do over this summer, you can check out our new disc golf course. Here's some more information on it. The North Putnam Disc Golf Course was built last year and is one of the 300 courses in Indiana and one of the 14,000 courses in the world. Disc golf is played much like golf. Instead of a ball and clubs, players throw a flying disc. The sport was formalized in the 1970s and shares with golf the objective to complete each hole in the fewest strokes, or in the case of disc golf, fewest throws. A golf disc is thrown from a tee area to a target, which is the hole. The hole is typically an elevated metal basket. As players progress down the fairway, he or she must make each consecutive throw from the spot where the previous throw landed. The trees, shrubs, and terrain changes located in and around the fairways provide challenging obstacles for the golfers. Finally, the putt lands in the basket and the hole is completed. Disc golf is extremely affordable. A player can play a round of golf with just one disc. A new golf disc can be as inexpensive as $10 and will usually last years. And if that's not too windy, you can even get started with a regular frisbee. So the next time you're looking for something new to do, give disc golf a try. Every day is a national holiday, and today's national holiday is Paranormal Day. And so we asked North Putnam students if they believe in the paranormal. Mr. V, can you answer a question for us? Sure, I can try. Do you believe in ghosts? No. No. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Just kidding. I don't. Ghost Hunters isn't real. They fake everything and put creepy music to make us all scared. Do I believe in ghosts? Absolutely. Yes. Not really, no. So, now we know North Putnam students' thoughts on the paranormal. Next, I'll be telling you about a ghost that is thought to haunt Rochdale. I had to go to Rochdale one night to clean the school. So I went on to do my job, what I was supposed to do, get the trash, clean, you know, clean the rooms and stuff. Well, later on, I was coming down that is sat around the corner and I heard somebody holler my name. Elva, Elva. So I stopped what I was doing, walked down the hall and, and see if I seen anybody. Well I didn't see nobody. So I was getting scared. So here I go, running back to my other hall, but to finish it, trying to hurry up and get out of there, you know. So when I got back around the corner, I heard it my name again real loud, Elva, Elva. But I said, oh my gosh, who's going, what's going on here? I don't see nobody. So here I go, looking for them again. Well, you talking about I wasn't scared, my heart would just beat, and I was running, trying to hurry up and get that trash out of the classroom, get out of there and take my trash out. I said, I'm hurrying up and getting out of here, because I don't see nobody. Go down the hall, look behind, see if I see anybody. But I don't see nobody. I said, oh God, here they call me in my name again. Elva, come here, come here. So I looked back here and I ain't seen nobody. So I said, forget it, I'm taking the trash out, I'm going home. So I, I took my trash out and I went home. <laughs> Welcome to Senior Spotlight. I'm Brandon Newrider here with Evan Pauley. Hello. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do outside of school? Uh, probably just any sports. Right now I've been playing a lot of pickleball. Yeah? <laughs> yep. Uh, what's your favorite class? Favorite class? Um, probably learning lab. A good old learning lab. Any plans after school? Uh, yeah, I plan to attend St. Mary of the Woods. I'm going to major in computer science. <laughs> do you have any pets? Any pets? Uh, so I have three pets. I have an outdoor cat, an indoor cat, and a dog. <laughs> what are the names? Uh, the dog's name is Brooks, the cat's name, the outdoor cat is Twix, and the indoor cat is Kit Kat. All right. Probably sharks. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favorite candy bar? It depends on my mood. You know, I don't, I don't have a personal preference. Sometimes Twix are nice. Uh, Reese's are always really nice. Mm-hmm. Welcome to MPTV Sports Recap. North Putnam Boys Volleyball hosted their first tournament in the program's history here at home. North Putnam played Wabash Valley Home School, Southridge, and University. Let's get in these highlights. Here we go with a great dig by Bash and Sprino, and an amazing pipe from Xavier Ali. 
Now, here's Kobe Galloway sneaking the ball past the attempted block. It's jam time with Michael Springmeyer. And let's finish it off with a little tip to avoid the block from senior Will Edwards. Last week, North Putnam Baseball hosted a game against Greencastle with a loss of 2-3. to three. Starting off, Griffin Starr got a single. Next, Braden Shue with a laser into the right. Lastly, we have Caden Helderman who had a dart into the ground. This week, the North Putnam track went to County, and Melanie Davis, Jenna Day, Brooke Hensley, and Maddie Trent broke the school record of a 4x800 relay that was last set in 1997. Also, County individual champions were Callie Riggle with shot put, Mac Lawson of discus, and Matthew Farrington of long jump, and last, Jenna Day in the 1600 and 1800. Last week, North Putnam hosted their first game against Greencastle softball team with a loss of 6-16. Let's start off with Lexi Daigle turning a routine ground ball into a double. Here is Maley Mason sliding to third for a triple. There's Lexi Daigle shooting a fastball for a strikeout. Finally, with Morgan Berry for a routine fly ball, a can of corn. And last, here are some recent results along with our up and coming games. Hi, I'm Jackson Kendall. My favorite hobby, well, I love being outdoors. Anything outdoors is what I'd say is my favorite thing to do. Um, I don't like being inside, I like being out doing stuff. Favorite food, well, I don't really have too much practice in that, but if I had to choose my favorite food, I would kind of generalize it down to uh, some Chinese food. It has to be that. Favorite class to teach, well, I only teach Algebra 1. I do have a lab, but I would just say math, math in general. Hi y'all, uh, AP, AP exams coming up here uh, in the next uh, week, week and a half, and uh, there are four reasons why AP exams are really important. Uh, number one, you might want to take an AP exam to build your skills, to challenge yourself maybe, uh, to think a little uh, at a higher level, or maybe to read and write at a higher level. Uh, to be able to do uh, higher level math. Uh, you also want to be able to get into college and uh, admissions uh, counselors like to see uh, AP exams on your transcript. Uh, and so that's something that will definitely help you with that. Um, it's also a pretty good gauge for academic success. Uh, even if you score a two on an AP exam, that's showing that you're able to do college work. But then if you get a three, a four, or a five, then you are showing and displaying that you are probably gonna have a pretty good amount of success in college as well. And really the biggest thing about AP exams, I think, is it saves you time and money because then you uh, maybe don't have to take a class, uh, which lets you focus on classes that you wanna take for your major, which could eventually get you out of school sooner, which is going to be a big cost savings. So those are four really important reasons why AP classes are good for you. Uh, how do you study for AP exams? Uh, there's a lot of resources on online through College Board. Of course, your teachers have been hopefully preparing you and doing little bits of AP work with you all year. So paying close attention to the structure and the framework of the way the questions are asked are, are good ways to make sure that you're ready for your exams. Good luck to you all. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. May 6th through 10th is Teacher Appreciation Week. So we made a short video to show our appreciation for North Putnam teachers. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast as well as the warm weather. Once again, I'm Brady Newrider. And I'm Shane Holmes. Signing off. See you next time.